basically this active and passive learning. Passive learning would just be traditional staring at a piece of paper, highlighting what you think is important. Active learning is more testing yourself as you read information, questioning what things mean, how does this fit in, what did I think before, what have I now learned, and what tends to happen is you spend less time studying, more time active learning, and you retain more information. This video is for Leah Jasmine. Hey. So we're going to be using one of my notes from a topic called congenital heart disease as an example for my map. We're in a lecture, in a, in a classroom or whatever, and the teacher has started a new topic. Before you begin, what you need to do is write down the main heading and any previous information that you might know or might be familiar with regarding this topic. What I tend to do, if it's a, a textbook or a set of notes, you, you just look through the chapter, identify all the headings, like the main headings and the subheadings. You need to time yourself for this technique. Um, what I do is I give myself 15 minutes to just review the material, review the chapter, like choose the main subheadings, just like the main ones, like five, six, maybe even max. And this is up. Look at whatever mind map you've been working with, which is headings and subheadings, and take the mind map away and draw it from memory. And you'll be surprised. I know this sounds ridiculous, but you actually remember quite a lot because you remember you just put the bare minimum information on a piece of paper. Time yourself, give yourself like five minutes, look back. So when the five minutes is up, look back at the mind map you drew while your book was open and compare what have you what have you forgotten? Why have you forgotten it? Next 15 minutes is you look at the subheadings that you put down and you try and add like one or two points, like bare minimum again, remember, just one or two points from each subsection on the topic. And again, do this for 15 minutes. Remember, keep it as little as possible because at the end of 15 minutes, what you're gonna do is hide the piece of paper and close the book that you've been working with and recall everything from the beginning, headings, subheadings, and the sub subheading. Once that's done, that's like a 45 minute session because that's another 15 minutes and five minutes. You take a break. You've got yourself a nice basic piece of paper, whatever topic you're learning. Evening, I would draw the whole thing again from memory. You're obviously going to forget stuff. Go back, try and see, understand why you've forgotten the stuff. The next day, you draw the mind map again and you'll be surprised just with that 45 minute session of active studying. You remember quite a lot. So I would stick with this main, main like mind map and maybe after three days based on the space repetition curve, which we'll be inserting there. Um, based on this curve, I would uh, redraw the mind map maybe three days later, maybe five days later, and each time I redraw it, I will try and add one more point, or just like two more points, but like just keep it really simple. And you'll see like after two weeks, without even spending an intense amount of time studying this topic, you'll know it like back the back of your hand. What we do in high school is I would collect all these mind maps from each topic or section that we were doing in class, and just before a test, you've got this beautiful folder of basic mind maps that you know from heart, from memory actually. You can just like pull out the April piece of paper, write down what you remember, go back, refer to this beautiful mind map that we've drawn, and compare what you've forgotten and just learn like that and it's, it takes like really really no time at all. There are other space repetition techniques such as Anki, you can make your own flashcards. So sometimes it's not that simple, sometimes it's not just topic that you're studying but perhaps there's a list of, um, a list of things you need to remember. Uh, I'll give you an example at the moment I'm updating my psych psychi psychiatric blog and I need to remember the DSM criteria. Psychiatrist, if you're not familiar, this is what psychiatrists around the world use to classify different mental illnesses. There is about 24 of them I think and you need to remember each point. So what I would do in that, in that context, I would make memory palace, it's also known as the method of Loki. Basically you use objects in your, your environment in a room and you assign assign points from this list to these objects. My study, right? I'm very familiar with my study. I walk in here all the time. And then when you close your eyes, you can assign each object in this room or whatever room you're familiar to, to something that you're learning about. A laptop and the laptop could suddenly be depressed. Like it could be a blue laptop, for instance. And then I'd remember, I'd visualize the room and be like, okay, depression's one of them. And then add character to this laptop. Like another tactic, it is basically the method of Loki, is your more, like your routines. Like I know people love watching morning routines and evening routines on, on YouTube, but like what you do every morning. So like you wake up out of bed and you check your phone. So you put your alarm off and then you assign putting your alarm off to a certain topic. That's how you remember stuff in order. So that's really helpful when you're doing science, like 
photosynthesis in high school that's just off the top of my head and like obviously you don't need to learn your own routine so what I would do is I'd write down one to ten whatever my routine is and whatever topics you've just learned the content that you have to and it's like let's say two weeks before the test what I would recommend highly recommend you do is take up past papers and go through them obviously they always repeat past papers i made this mistake in high school like i was like oh no they never do that like maya is different they're gonna catch us but no like you could know every single word from your textbook off by heart and you could not have gone through any past papers and they were still you'd be the person who just memorized the past papers would be better off i just want to say thank you for watching the video if you have any other requests please dm me on instagram email me put it in the comments below and like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more of this face, very disorganized, very disorganized, like very erratic posting person here. But support would be great. Like support your galley, as Chrissy says.